Hypothesis testing is the process of determining whether our sample data is statistically significant enough to throw out that null hypothesis, that assumed true statement. So now what we want to do is compare the idea of statistical significance with practical significance. So if we refer back to example four, the information we had on Heartland students making successful progress, let's take that information and assume that the population proportion of students who will make successful progress is exactly 68.9%. So even though that was just sample data, let's just for a moment assume that that's the true population proportion. Now let's assume that we repeat this study and generate the results below. So we have a few things that have changed. Now we're looking at a larger sample, 10,000 students. And in the end, we're going to report 70% of those students making successful progress. So these are results I've completely made up just to demonstrate this point. Can we claim that the proportion of students who enroll at Heartland and make successful progress? So now we're saying, can we claim that the proportion of students who enroll at Heartland and make, will make successful progress is greater than 68.9%. So in this case, our claim is that P is something greater than 0.689, meaning our null and alternative hypotheses will be P equals 0.689, and P is greater than 0.689. So we could verify the conditions. In this case, we had we would end up having 7,000 successes, 3,000 failures. Turn back to StatCrunch to generate our results and test this claim. But what we would get is a p-value of 0 0.0087, which is less than 0 0.05, which is our significance level in this case. So we reject the null hypothesis. So I'm doing a much shorter version of this right up here. Um, but we're rejecting the null hypothesis, meaning we would conclude that the proportion is greater than 68.9%. So there's sufficient evidence to conclude that more than 68.9% of students make successful progress. So in this case, the claim would be supported. So in this case, what we're reaching the conclusion of is that our data suggests that the population proportion has increased. So a previous study found it to be 0.689, so 68.9%. Now we're saying that success rate, that proportion has grown. And because of the results of our test, since our p-value is less than alpha, that is a statistically significant result. But we want to look at basically the, the reality of these numbers. So originally we were assuming that that success rate was 68.9%. Now our sample is saying that that's increased to 70. While that is a statistically significant increase, in reality, the proportion increased by just a little over 1%. So while any group, any organization, a college in this case, would always want to show improvement, this is probably not a practically significant result. An increase of 1% doesn't make a huge difference. What we would want to show is that the success rate has gone from 68% to maybe 75%, 80%. You want to show a larger jump than that. So in this case, since our sample size was large enough, we we're able to show a statistically significant increase, but again, not practically, because comparing our original assumed value to our sample value, there's just really not much difference there. So we just want to keep in mind this idea, just because something is statistically significant doesn't mean it has practical significance.